what is going on you guys how y'all doing today as you can see in the title of the video today we are installing a roof rack to the tl and we do got snow like this is so crazy it hasn't snowed in maryland for about like two years now like this is our first winter wonderland if you can say but look at the, the <laughs> look at the snowboard on top of the car it just looks crazy so i'm definitely planning on putting a roof rack and putting two of my boards on top and this just looks absolutely amazing look at the color of the car oh that looks so dope and look at my front splitter it's just covered in snow like this is just crazy just gotta watch out for my steps look at this oh she looks bad she looks angry in the snow wow and look at the roof rack on top i mean not the roof rack look at the snowboard on top can you imagine the roof rack but yeah uh today in the video i am going to be showing y'all how to install the roof rack i'm going to be showing y'all what everything comes and the brand i think i got the okama i don't know how to say it but i'm going to show y'all how to install everything from the roof rack and how to install it on the car so yeah let's just jump inside the brand that i decided to go with is yakima and this is what the roof rack looks like fully together uh without the clips that go into the car so just this is just the rod connecting to the the q towers so i want to show y'all everything that comes with it it comes with two poles uh the q towers so the q towers are these right here and i believe i'm gonna open this box right here these are what the q towers look like so the pole goes in between it and locks it in and i believe the q clips are yeah this is what goes onto the car and sets between the door so yeah we got that and then we also got some lock cores as well these are actually the lock the q towers on your car so nobody can take them off and i believe that's everything that came with it you know they provided everything that you needed like yakima did a very good job of providing that even instructions as well like it's not that hard to do it but every car is specific every car is different with the length of the rod that you have to do so i'm gonna try to explain them the best of my abilities all right so i'm gonna put a picture on the screen about now of what my labels are for the tl uh we have to do the m2 m1 m4 m3 so right now i'm doing the m1 length and i believe it's uh 41.18 of a uh, uh of inches from right there from literally this corner I mean, oh, there you go. From right here to right here. That has to be 41.18. And then now we're going to do the rear one. And I believe the rear is actually shorter than the front. I think it's like 43 apes, if I'm not mistaken. Something like that. Uh, the measurements on the screen, you can see it. So right now I'm about to do that. I'm going to show you how it's done. All right. The first thing you have to do, you have to unloosen these things right here. So you're able to slide off the back housing to get to a bolt. So you'd be able to put the bar in. Uh, some people take these all the way off. I realize that you don't need to. As you can see, that's the bolt that we gotta get to. So that's what unloosens this inside here so the bar can go and have a snug fit. So that's what we're doing right now. This has to be 40.3 inches of a length. This tape is so freaking wiggly. All right. Is that for 40.38? I think so. That's on the money right there. I'm happy with that. I also tighten the bolts that are right here. I'm actually gonna tighten it some more just so it definitely won't come off. And they say when you tighten it, make sure you are applying pressure downwards to this and tightening. So like I said, the kit came with an alley key, 
It came with tape, basically everything that you need. So, very simple. All right, y'all, I got it all tightening up. And this is the reason why I actually like this brand a lot. Yakima, they did a very good job. And they even provided stickers that you can put on the Q towers to indicate like, you know, which one it is. So this one is definitely my rear. So I put the rear part of the car, you know, on the bar. So I know I will never get these mixed up if I just look at the sticker. Um, like I said, it comes with everything that you need. Comes in both boxes. Like this is just awesome. They even provide the silicone that goes on the bottom of the Q tower so this doesn't scratch up your car. Um, what else it comes with? It even comes with these. These actually go on to these clips that go inside your door jam. So that's even awesome too. So they definitely provided everything that you needed. Like even the end caps to these, they, I believe, where are they at? They came in one of these boxes, I seen them. But they even got that too. So the question is, where is it? Is it right here? Yeah, I think these are the caps right there. Yeah, so four caps in total. All right, so I also put the protective vinyl on the parts that are going to be touching the car so my paint doesn't get damaged. And uh, let's start putting these on, I believe. So these, each of them have their different numbers. I believe that's 112, 112, and then 116. So the 116s are for the front and the 112s are for the rear. So right now I'm going to do a rear one since I already did a front one. This is what it looks like. Complete it and then, you know, when I put it on my car, it's going to snap on. And I have the key for it as well. And the stock ones that are come with it, uh, they don't come with the locks unless you purchase these separately. And which I did. So I got them. So I'm going to try to show y'all with the best of my ability how to do this. So you got this this thing right here. Once you slide this up, then this goes in the back to pop it out in the front. Ah, let me see if I can do this. Just like that. Actually, I think I got it upside down. Yeah, I had it upside down. There we go. All right, so that's in there. And then you have a key, one of these to hold in at the top. So it stays in place just like that. And now we just gotta get that little top cap off so I can put my key on top. It just pops out. Last time it was super easy. <laughs> now it's being a pain. Wow, it came out so easy after I put the phone down. All right, so now we grab one of our our locks, and then we get the key, and then it should just go in there, leave like so. Just like that. So the key's in there. And boom. Hmm. Mm. What's stopping this one from closing all the way? Let's figure it out. All right. So I I figured out what it was. So. It will close all the way, and then once you lock it, it won't open. So if you lock it before it closes, then it won't close fully. So you have to unlock it and then close it right here, or lock it right now. So right now, if I lock it, let's see if I do it real quick. Uh, shoot. Recording with one hand, y'all, is kind of difficult. I believe, is this key? 
you see how like right now it won't come up because it's locked but if i unlock it then it will so, okay okay i'm getting it i'm getting it this is my first time doing a roof rack y'all so it's both of our first time together all right, I'm going to do a better video this time to explain it. The Q-clip slides up into this bracket right here. Then you have this piece. Uh, I believe the notch should be facing upward. Yep. And then you slide it in through the back. Just like that. And then you have this clip piece that slides directly down on top of it to lock it in. So, let's see if I can do it with one hand, probably not, but yeah, you just slide it completely down and it holds it in place, just like that. And then, since we have the key version, uh, let me just pop this out real quick. And then we put our key version inside. Gotta make sure I'm lining everything up correctly. Yeah, you see how the key just slides right in? We take the key out, place it down, boom. So now everything is complete. I believe the only thing I gotta do is just put these caps on to the end. And that is it. So now it's time to place it on the car. All right, so we made it outside and I got the roof rack. It's not all the way on, but you know, I got it placed in the right spot. So what we had to do right now, we had to measure from the start of the paint of the roof into the Q tower and it should be 11 inches. I'm trying to do this with one hand, literally on the money of 11 inches, so. I did it on both sides, it's perfect. So now what I have to start doing is I have to open this up and I have to turn this a half time every time back and forth until it gets above this notch. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's a notch. This gold plate has to be right there at that notch. So I have a lot of tightening I need to do. All right, so the front one is tightened all the way. And just so far, it actually looks really, really dope. Like. Just with one bar, I can't wait to see what the other one looks like on there. And then plus with the snowboard on top, so. I'm gonna try to hurry this up. It is cold outside, it's freezing. But so far it looks amazing. The process that I have to keep doing is I have to turn this knob a half turn on the east side both times. And then, hold up, make sure that's up, there we go. And then this little indicator, the gold thing has to be right at that notch. So I keep tightening back and forth, back and forth, just keep walking to both sides. You saw how this one is getting closer and closer. A half turn. And then keep going back to the other side. So it's just a little process, keep going back and forth, but it's super, super easy. And then the length between these two have to be 24 inches from the crossbar from the center of the crossbar to that has to be 24 inches so so far everything is going smoothly and yeah everything is tightened so the last step that we have to do to the q towers is just to lock them up so they will not be going nowhere Whew. It looks amazing what the tower is on. Boom. All four locked. Come on now. Tell me that don't look crazy. Yo, I got roof racks on my car. <laughs> she looks so mean right now. Oh yeah, we definitely gotta get the snowboarding racks on now so I can put my snowboard. And we ready, like I'm about to hit the slopes with this. This is crazy looking like from every angle. It looks so bad ass. I love it. So the snowboarding mounts I got, I stuck with Yakima and I decided to go with theirs, you know, stay with the brand. And I got this on Facebook Marketplace. So 
honestly i don't know how it really works but it shouldn't be that hard I believe you just gotta tighten these bolts down here so i'm gonna be real with you i'm about to watch a youtube video real quick and we're gonna see how this goes all right so i put one of them up there i didn't tighten nothing yet but as you can see this is what it looks like it's not super super huge i believe i could probably fit like two snowboards instead of like i got instead of having like the extra large one but you know i'm cool with it it's just me so i'm not that pressed but yeah uh this is not that hard to do it's just kind of tedious because you got to do this boat and then you got to turn it this way do that boat and then once both of them are tightened for this bar then you have to open it up and do these so they don't move you know back and forth like this all right so this is how she looks right now so mean with the snowboarding racks on top i don't know it just gives it like another another character like that is just crazy she looks so dope like she's really about to go off-roading which honestly i plan on going to pa uh this month and actually go snowboarding i'm gonna go and take the car just how it is just like this and man oh my god it just looks so dope i am beyond happy like i feel like a little kid right now like i'm super super excited and everything just clamps down so perfect this is my old snowboard and that's my new one i'm about to get uh bindings and boots for it uh so honestly that's what i'm doing right now i'm actually going to drop that snowboard off so it can get everything worked on so it can be ready for this season and besides that y'all i'll try to get some more shots of everything later i don't know why i didn't think about this but you could literally see the snowboards on top like this is crazy this is a vibe this is a vibe this is the daily right now like come on this is crazy i love it look at this m3 y'all Woo! With the racks on top too. This is crazy. We just twin inside now. He surpassed my level with that. Ooh! Competition too, bro. This joint is nice. This is what I need in my life. One of them, and I'm set. Oh yeah, you can go. Look at that. Come on out. or nothing flies off but I gotta watch the snowboards Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that B-roll, that little montage that I did with the snowboards on top. But I just got done washing the car right now. It is the next day later. It was just a lot of salt all over the car, so I just wanted to clean a little bit off. I didn't, like, you know, scrub or go really, really crazy like I usually do. But I just try to get all underneath the car, you know, all the spots that were affected with the salt. It's crazy because all the water that i sprayed on the car started freezing you can see like right here i try to dry it off really fast that froze it's, it's a couple places that you know froze because of the weather it's just so goddamn cold i can't imagine living in a a cold place 24 7 this is not it but as you can see the roof racks are complete this was a fun task it was definitely quite challenging you know just trying to learn everything this is my first time ever doing something like this so it's kind of out my comfort zone but i knocked it out you know i'm proud of myself i believe these are all just water spots yeah these are all water spots but yeah she looks good and if you have made it to the end of this video i want to say thank you so much 
right now on my Instagram, I have reached 5K. So if you haven't already, follow the Instagram. It's CurlyTL with a K. And next, we shooting for 10K on the gram. But like I said, please drop a like. If you haven't subscribed so far, please subscribe. And I'll catch y'all guys in the next one. Peace.